Catholic priests from the National Catholic Theological Institute questioned Sheikh Didat during his lecture in Pakistan. Why did he always have to attack Christianity in his speeches? Why can't he just preach about the message of Islam itself and not worry himself about other religions? Here is Sheikh Didat's answer. There is a question here, seems to be a very important question because it's coming from some very important people. It says, Christ the King Seminary, National Catholic Theological Institute, near Hassan Square, University Road, Karachi, 47, Pakistan. Coming from the Christ the King Seminary, it says, Do you lecture that you have been speaking of Christians from the past hour and not on Islam? If Islam is a religion of peace, preach peace. Uh -huh. Do you realize how many verses of the Quran speak of Hazrat Isa? There is a whole surah dedicated to Hazrat Maryam. All this is very true. Very true. Very true. You are talking about Islam. Everything that I was speaking was about Islam. See, when I said there is no original sin, that was Islam. When I said Jesus is not God, that is Islam. When I said Jesus was not killed or crucified, that is Islam. So although I was... I'm not pulling this out of my head, out of thin air. Everything that I was using, I was using the Bible, but proving my Islamic case. Islam came to rectify the mistakes of previous societies. The Quran often talks about the stories of old, emphasizing how societies tends to deviate from worshipping the one true God, and starts to worship other humans or objects. The core tenet of Islam is to discard all other gods, as one who reverted to Islam would have to declare the testimony of faith. The first part of it means, there is no God deserved to be worshipped, other than God alone. Naturally, the latest Abrahamic beliefs in the world which came before Islam, was Christianity, which had deviated, surely, from absolute monotheism, and their priests had voted for the establishment of a Trinitarian creed by the time Islam came about. In response to this major deviation from the worship of God alone, into a Trinitarian belief practiced by the biggest empire at the time, God had sent Prophet Muhammad, and the Quran, to rectify this travesty. With regards to all these other suggestions that have been made, beautiful. Look, this is what the Christian ought to be doing. This church people seems to know that there is a chapter in the Quran called Surah Maria. The bulk of Christians don't. There is no such chapter in the Bible in honor of the name of the mother of Jesus. There is isn't. <laughs> 66 books. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Ezekiel, Elisha, Elijah, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts. No Mary, no Maria. Then he says, you know how many times Jesus is mentioned in the Quran? Yes, he's mentioned 25 times. And I must also tell you the same time that the name Muhammad only five times. Amazing, amazing situation. See, Muhammad وسلم, is mentioned in the Quran only five times. Four times as Muhammad and one time as Ahmad. Altogether five. Jesus, 25 times. Why so? There is a chapter about Surah Maryam, about the birth of Jesus. Surah Ali Imran, about the birth of Jesus. Why? And the Prophet's birth is not mentioned. Muhammad's birth is not mentioned. His mother's name is not mentioned. His daughter's name is not mentioned. His wife's name is not mentioned. Amazing. But mother of Jesus is mentioned. And the birth of Jesus is mentioned. Why? Why? Because he's greater? Why? You see, there was a problem. When our Nabi Karim وسلم, was made to declare his mission, when he reached Medina, he found that the Jews and the Christians were each other's neck, throats. The Jews and the Christians were at war about the personality of Jesus. The Jews said that because Jesus has got no father, he is the illegitimate child of Mary. A Roman soldier, they give a name about the soldier, he raped Mary and he produced this illegitimate child. Astaghfirullah. They say he is the bastard child of Mary. The Jews claimed that Mary was actually allegedly the victim of rape by a Roman soldier. The story that Jesus was the son of a man named Pantera is referred to in the Babylonian Talmud, in which Jesus is widely understood to be the figure referred to as Ben Stada. Jesus has also been mentioned in the Palestinian Talmud in multiple accounts. In one of these accounts, he was named Yeshu Ben Pandera. Some also claimed in Judaism that they believe that Mary was an adulterous woman, and this Yeshua leads people astray which is completely unlike the Muslims, who believe that Jesus, called Esau in Arabic, was the son of Mary, and was conceived miraculously, without the intervention of a human father. But this is what the Jews said. The Christians say, because he's got no father, his father is God. 
One goes to one extreme, the other goes to other extreme. So Allah tells us what position must we take, we Muslims. So He's telling us what to do. He says, tell them, hold, tell them. Ya halal kitab, O people of the book, O Jews and Christians, la taghlu fi dinikum. He said, do not go to extremes in your religion. Wa la taqulu ala Allah illa al-haq. And don't say anything about Allah except the truth. Innam al-Masih, most certainly the Messiah, Isa ibn Maryam, Jesus the son of Mary, Rasulullah, is a messenger of Allah, wa kalimatuhu, and a word proceeding from him. Al-Qaha ila Maryam wa ruhum minhum, which he bestowed upon Mary, and a spirit proceeding from him. Fa'aminu billahi wa rusulihi, so believe in Allah and his messenger, Jesus. This is actually what Jesus says. In the Gospel of St. John, he says, and this is life eternal. For salvation, this is life eternal. That they should know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. I'm asking the Muslim, do you believe that? Of course we do. There is only one Allah and Isa is Rasul. There is only one Allah and Muhammad is his messenger. There is only one Allah is Musa is Salam is Kalimullah. There is only one Allah and Ibrahim is Kalimullah. There is only one Allah and Jesus is his message. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe to Islamica to support our efforts. Thank you.